Welcome, team, to your very first Lead Ab Core, whatever you want to call it, workout of Jacked Up for July. That's right, I am your coach, this is Coach Tyler, and I'm going to help you get the best goddamn ass with using very minimal weight. I'm going to show you how to work muscles, I'm going to show you how to flex muscles, I'm going to show you how to move muscles, I'm going to show you how to grow, so your tree grows in the right direction. We're going to get into that with the posture videos earlier I posted. Uh, first thing that we're going to do, for six years I've had the same warm up, and they, I don't really like to change it because this works, it gets your whole body warm, um, warms up your quads, hamstrings, and uh, groin as well. You want to come around here and make a little bit of movement too. That would be good. So, what I'm going to do, when I go up for my squat, I'm going to flex my core, flex my ass in, push my ass out, chest up, almost like I'm going straight down, but only letting my butt go back. So, notice I'm not falling like this. Or, the other mistake people make is pushing their knees forward. They do this, okay? My feet are just a little bit wider than shoulder width. Toes pointed towards the corner of the room. Watch how I push my booty back. Nice and deep. Push with my buns. Coming up, flexing my core, pop chest. My shoulders should match my ass there. At the end, roll, tighten, flex. Now, pushing my butt back. Alrighty, push, 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 push. As I come up, big flex. Okay, once I've done 30, gonna go to the hold here. Gonna really make sure, lifting my toes so I'm putting the pressure in my hamstrings, not my knees. If I'm on my toes, I'm gonna put, that's a no-no, put all the pressure in my knees. If I'm on my hamstrings, I can push my ass back. Push, almost like a little twerk. So you're gonna do three different zones of 30. Every time you bounce, so 30 full, one set, then 30 little bounces each zone. So this is the first zone, 90 degrees. Okay, once you've done your 30, no problem. Go into your second zone, a little bit deeper. Make sure your ass is back. I don't want to see this. One, two, as much on the heels as possible. Okay, for the last zone, the hardest one, getting that groin. I want you to sit on the ground. Okay? If you have to move your feet up, that's fine. You don't want to be stretched too, too much. What I want you to do is push with your heels. One, two, three. And we're going to do 30 butt touches just like that, halfway up, pushing backwards, all heels. Your groin is going to feel tight. Suck in, blow, suck in, blow. And on the 30th, woo, the legs will be feeling. Ready to rock. Okay team, we got two sets of lunges we're gonna do. When we do the lunges, we're gonna do them all turtle slow. These are called turtle lunges. That's why I want you to really slow them down, break it down. When we're trying to develop change in muscles, we have to establish the base first. We cannot build muscle right away on the, on the first hit. We have to establish the base, let us know, hey, we're here for the party, is it okay? We bring some booze in, come in and tie. Uh, yeah, of course it is. But we got to establish the relationship, the base, the foundation first on anything you do, okay? So as I go down into my lunge, my feet, okay, are in line with my ass cheeks. My heels right in line with my buns. As I go back, this is called the shimmy, okay? I'm going to shimmy, get to about this distance. You don't want to be too close. You end up doing this. We want to focus on pushing this ass cheek on the left. I'll go to the right. Out. So as I do so, coming down, I'm putting that pressure into this bun. Okay, I'm not feeling it into my knee. So as I go down, I'm kind of pushing up. So as you go down, stretching that butt up. And you really want to try and even get this straight at the top to test your balance muscles, your crotch muscles. As I go down, nice, slow. Breathing on the way up. Go down, nice, slow. Okay? Even try and straighten to get those muscles. Then, at the end of your lunges, holding the last. Uh, legs straight, 
Back leg straight in the airplane. Just hold 10 seconds. You're going to feel muscles up in your crotch and your hips and your right around all your groin muscles that aren't going to feel too nice. You're going to be doing this. We want to establish that base. Let them stay. Let them stay. So next week, it's muscle building time. Okay, team. We are here with my favorite, the bench sit ups. These are amazing, amazing exercises to do. People think they're silly. Focus on balance, stability muscles, and it's hard, but it looks super easy. So what I'm gonna do is sit on this bench comfortably, okay? I'm comfortable, 90 degrees. Everyone knows what 90 degrees is, if you can get a side angle, okay? I'm gonna start on my foot, my right foot. So I'm gonna lift this up. If you can't keep it straight because it hurts your quad, it's your muscles here. It's not anything else. You can add a little bit of a bend. This heel that I'm gonna lift up with is in line with my ass cheek. I like to kind of start with a little bit of momentum and then I come up, boom, roll, match. So when I do this motion, I get a little bit of lower back tightness, pop the chest, okay? So my shoulders match my ass, flex my ass, and then focus on pushing my butt back towards the back wall. Then coming up again, flex. This is your pace, okay? Do it slow. These first workouts are not meant to be super heavy, super challenging, but just to get good at the basics of establishing that foundation again. Using my heel, come up, flex. Flex my core, flex my ass. Then, as soon as I'm starting, I'm pushing. I feel my butt push out, right like so. And, etc. Okay, one of the hardest exercises I give, which I again want you to take your time because it's going to hurt your lower back if you don't do it in the right way. So what we're going to do is an opposite hand, one line deadlift. So I'm going to start on my right side, okay? First thing I want to do is have a slight bend. I feel the pressure in my butt. I have my butt flex. This is the butt cheek I'm working here, okay? As I do this, I'm going to pop my chest. When I go down, I want to avoid rolling my shoulder like so. Also, when I go down, I want to keep my upper body as long as possible, okay? So as I go down, it'll be like this. Then my back leg will be level with my head, so it'll be a straight line. Put example, slight bend, pop the chest, feel it out, okay? This kettlebell, dead weight, right in line with your crotch. As I go down, pop the chest, okay, pop. Look down, back leg should reach head ass height, pop the chest, come up, roll. Ooh, try not to touch the ground, okay? Maybe get one from over here with the roll, okay? So again, just one more time. Once you get your momentum, don't think, just do. Two, it's even challenging for me since I did legs. I mean, we don't make excuses. Suck in. That's how it should look. Don't worry about a heavy weight. Focus on not rolling your shoulder again. Don't want to be doing this. Pop the chest. Head matches toe. Straight line. Back should be straight and long. Come up. Roll shoulder. Squeeze. Leg on the ground has a slight bend and then you lock it. Don't bend it anymore. Okay, team. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our ab process. Okay, we got Rosie here, she's the shop dog. She's gonna probably try and make this harder. She had some resistance by trying to kiss my face when I go down. As most dogs like to do that when you work out or she'll like to lie with me. Okay, so we'll do our best. Hands underneath lower back. Rosie, not now, not now. <laughs> Yep, striving for attention. Oh my goodness. Typical woman. <laughs> hot in here? Oh. I mean, uh, I guess there's a lot of women in this group, probably. Just gonna keep it down. Okay. Rosie, I told you, not now. Okay. Crunch the knees. Full kick. If you can't get the full kick because it hurts your lower back, that's okay. Aim at 80%. Crunch the knees. Take the time. When I tell people to do two sets of 15, they do this. And they don't, they do it just to get it done. Don't do that. I'd rather you do three sets of five really slow, where you can 
crunch, feel the abs break, and then kick. Doesn't matter if it's harder, you get one day at this. So you might as well make perfect abs and perfect muscle. Quality movement, smooth, suck in, and blow it. Three. That will be the first one out of the superset that we're about to do. We're going to do 20 of each. So 20 kickouts first, like so. Then we're going to go crunch, knee, crunch, stretch. Yeah, she's holding me back again. Crunch, stretch, crunch. Okay? Take your time. Save your neck. If you really take your time and flex the abs, you'll only be able to do probably 10 good ones and need a break rather than save your neck. Slow it down. Okay? Third part is scissor kicks. One. Pointed toe. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, etc. And you're going to go that to 30 times. And you're going to complete that cycle twice. And then we'll have a new little ab cycle right up. Okay, team. Next ab cycle, we're going to do superset all in a row. Superset is back to back to back. We're going to do this twice. We're going to go to 20 reps each. First one, if you can't put your legs straight, that's okay. At a slight bend, very slowly. One. Look how my arms stay straight, slow. Squeeze, reach for the sky, slight tilt forward. Keeping the feet up, nice, slow, head goes down. No faster than what I'm going, okay? Second part will be your side crunch. So what we're gonna do, I like to call the chop. This chop right down, slow crunch. Slow. Crunch. Big flex here again. Take your time. Slow crunch. Okay? Then we'll go to the other side after that. Very slow 20 crunch. You're going to do this twice. And then for the third part, what we're going to do is hands underneath your lower back. One. And this again is establishing the base. It's basically preheating the oven before you turn. Stick in the turkey there, okay? Three, because you have to get these muscles moved, touched, whatever, before we can start growing them. So if it's really tight and it's hurting your hips, you likely need a massage anyway, this is the time to do it. Invest into that so I can build a better canvas, build a better painting, instead of using an old canvas that has paint marks and everything all over, okay? I'm an artist. I want to mold and sculpt your body perfect as possible. Okay? Okay, team. So, if you don't have one of these bands, you can tie up a resistance band, but I do suggest paying the $5 at your local fitness store. Um, sometimes Walmart has something like this, or shoppers. Um, but this is your best one. If you look, there's nothing. Uh, it's like a big rubber band. Anyways, what we're going to do, one of the best ass toners in the business, baby, for five bucks right here. Bring it here for Fit for Life, first one. I do not want you to grab something to touch. I want you to focus straight on. We're going to do four sets of 30, just like so. Don't have to go back and touch. I don't want this band falling at all either. So we have it, if you look on my ankle, between my knee and my ankle, right dead middle. Like so, five, six, straight pointed toe the first one downwards, okay? Then you'll alternate sides, etc. cetera, 30. Second set, corner of the room, like so, trying to still keep straight. I don't want you like this either, okay? I want you like the leaning tower of Pisa, slight lean but straight, corner of the room, keep it up there if you can, five, seven. Oh, kind of another side. Uh, okay. Third one is going to be your side kick. Toe face forward. Okay. Then alternate. Fourth one, kick back. Add a little bit of a lean forward. One. Take your time. Flex. Flex. It's actually going to hurt the leg that's on the ground more than it is the kicking leg because you're having to balance using your stability muscles. 
right there is going to gain you so much strength. Don't worry about the weight, okay? Worry about just doing quality reps. I don't even care if you finish this whole workout today. All I care is you've done every rep perfectly. And then you'll know where your stop point is for when you finish it next week. Let's kill this week team. And I promise you, first week, you kill it, this becomes so goddamn easy and sickening. <laughs> Okay, your finishers for your first workout, I want you to be extremely careful here. Okay, these are your suicide squats. I want you to get really good at them because if I don't like your pictures, I'm going to add these and they're deadly, especially after the end of a leg workout. Notice my feet are perfectly parallel. Okay, they're not one foot here, one foot here. Use a mat or some sort of line to make sure. As I go down, I'm coming halfway. There's never a stop point. Then I'm shifting in. More the, the shift than a jump. Then I'm shifting out. There's never a stop point, so, so all one motion here. Out. Stop, stop. Right there, there. That's as much as you stop. It's constant flow. Constant. And you're gonna do two sets of 20 just to keep it going. Make sure you hit that perfectly, don't pull a grind. 